Hey guys, before we start today's episode, I'd like to look back on some of the footage from the previous episode to see if I can find any hidden clues I might have missed. So far, just the amethyst in the chest, as you might have seen right there, you can go back and see it for yourself. So yeah, I had a going theory that maybe these illagers are trying to study these amethyst shards to see if they can utilize their powers to go back to the regular dimension that they came from. Apart from that, there are these also two other rooms that I've also noticed as well that I cut off in the video. As you see to my right, there's like a, a little room here with like a decorative wall over there. Which I first saw it nothing, but the next room proved otherwise. As you see, I'm about to see right now, this room actually has a bit of a decorative pattern, but a little too familiar. It took me a short while, but I realized that these are the actually different nether dimensions. In the middle, you have your basalt deltas right over there, then you have your work forest over there, and then your crimson forest. So I'm thinking maybe these villagers might be trying to map something out here. If you guys think about it, it starts with the basalt deltas, which is where I came from. And then you have your little crimson area right there, which is where I went to. So if we went in the opposite direction, would it work in the warp forest area or something like that? Who knows? But well, that being said, what are these bombs then? Because these are like different bombs I've never seen before. Either the overworld or like new nether bombs. It's like the whole dark area thing. A much darker result those area. And then in the middle you have your little red sand area over here. And then a green area, as you're about to see right now, yeah. So what could those represent? New types of bombs? Are they more dangerous than the ones I've already been to? Yeah, these are much areas I'd much love to explore and see for myself. But enough about that, I got other places to explore at the moment. So we'll come back to this at another time. Hey guys, Eddie Casper here. And they got all this armor stuff. Some pretty cool armor, just think. And a cool sword. And you know, I think I know I'm considering upgrading it to netherite at this point. <laughs> I've already got a good enough sword with high attack damage. I could have stabbed it well. I think I, I think it's my high time I finally upgraded. Uh, the problem is if I mean I don't have enough netherite stuff on me. Yeah. Uh, I guess I can upgrade my stuff to netherite at this point. But I don't want to wait, wait until I get like a full diamond set, I guess. Because next on the list is, a, is two diamond pickaxes, a shovel, a gardening hoe, and a axe. I decided to recap the events of last episode where I found the Illager Sanctum and everything and reformulated my theories and whatnot. You know, stuff I explained in the intro. But yeah, at this point I was I was feeling a little confident and decided to, to explore other bizarre dimensions. For example, the Glowstone Dimension, which is, well... Yep, just as crazy as I remember, the Aerolith Dimension. And yep, and I can all imagine the other, the other safe spot is up. And also, sheep. Wait, is that a sheep? It remains? Can animals spawn here? Yeah, they can spawn here. What the heck? Whoa! <laughs> Good thing I have my, my special armor. Alright. Okay. Second layer reach. Again. Alright. And, and, oh, jeez. They're still here. If we find another area around them, we can. It exists. But again. Is there anything over here of worth value? Is it is it even worth going to the top? To save it the trouble, no, there's not really anything worth it up here. I'll give credit, it does kinda look like a standard forest dimension you'd see in a normal Minecraft world. But other than that, there's not really much anything here, no structure or anything, just a lot of mobs and whatnot. But that's about it. You can try going higher for one, but you chance are you may not find anything over here. Then at the waist, however, that's a bit of a different story. Okay, so be careful not to fall off. Whoa, hey! Yep, it's back to the bastion for me. See if I can get any further, and then if I can get to the center, if I attract any of the pigment roots. So yeah, I was very cautious around this point. Be careful not to catch in their eyesight. In fact, there was one below me, but I was able to quickly pass them. So I made some safe routes, easy there and there. Ironically though, I did fall on one of them. Again, has that happened. But whatever, I had to make my way back up. And well, I glided into another area. Of course, falling and finding a lot of piglins. Again. But it was light work for me. Well, at least with this armor and weapon. So yeah, uh, after I dealt with them, I was about to rest out and see where I could go next. But then a brute came on. And I attacked it in nowhere. Oh my gosh. And I was a little panicking, but I still fought bravely. And surprisingly, I survived. Normally, people would be dead by this point, but I guess with the armor I had, I was alive. So that's good to know. So anyway, I made my way back back up, like the air around me, got jumpscared by a zombie piglin over there, 
and then made my way to the center, where of course I had to fight another piglin brute. But I was really confident at this point, so I had no issues dealing with them. And I was even waiting for others to arrive, but nobody came to help him out. Oh well. Sadly though, the loot is very underwhelming. It was just like some crossbows and whatnot. So yeah, after exploring a bit of the bastion, I decided to go back home to my area to see if I could find any other areas for exploring. I figured I'd start with spawn as most of the stuff that's happening centers around spawn area, especially around the end dimension, which as of now is a wasteland, but eventually it does get better. You just have to wait and see what I find sooner or later. Okay, so we're here again because, well, let's explore that forest a minute, shall we? Uh, of and of course it's night time. Because it wouldn't be night time. And there's a lot of... Whoa. What happened here? This is way different than the last time I was here. But I, but I do remember coming here a while back ago. And there was like a whole nothingness. And now I think there's a house. And there's a house here, I think. Why? Well, I'm not sure. This is not the one. That's one one. Alright then. It's a house full of this. Oh, I think it's one of these. As a bird cats. Or cannon birds. Oh hey, I shot every pot. I don't miss this the first time. Yeah, I'm not gonna take it. I don't want, I don't want my area to be like well known or something like that. But I could tell this place was busy. And what's this? I'm not sure. Anything else I should know about? There's a soul torch here. And there's a whole bunch of portals here. The hell, cluster of portals. Right. Let's farm for some reason. A sheep and whatnot. Oh, it's creeper. I do not want them to kill the animals. Okay. I guess I should travel further into this area. And see if there's anything else going on here and here. Alright. So now I'm at a deserted village, I guess. I don't really know if because somebody left his door open. That's strange. And also because the chests are missing. Or been looted out. So I know people have definitely been here. I guess to an extent. And look at that, yeah. They've taken all the... Oh, jeez. Did I accidentally set my spawn point there? I hope I didn't set my spawn point there, because that would be very tragic. And oh my gosh, I do not want any mess ups today. Uh, unlock a portal. Where is this lead? I'm not sure. There's a lot of wood here. I think someone's been leaving wood here. Also, I did hear a villager, so I guess this place is, isn't entirely deserted. It has been looted to the core. Alright. I assume this portal leads to, well, uh, some other unknown area, I guess. Well, I said I wanted to venture, so let's see what's inside this portal. Please don't be sick. Please don't be bad. Please don't be bad. Please don't be bad. I can't see. Whoa. I can't see. Where am I? What the heck? What the heck? Did I enter someone's portal room by mistake? I think so. I. I think I might have accidentally entered into someone's portal room. Okay, whoops. Okay, luck. Okay, uh, which portal did I just come out of? Okay, okay. I better get out of here before somebody logs on quick. Okay, quick, 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 get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Okay. And I'm out of here, okay. I apologize to whoever's portal room that is. I did not mean to intrude. I apologize. Alright. Is that a castle? Hold on. I think it's a castle. Oh no, it's, it's a small house, I guess. Anything? This setup feels familiar, though. I think I've seen a house of this caliber before. Maybe not. I don't know. But there is a bed here. I'm not gonna click on it. Because again, if it's at my spawn point in this area, it'll, it'll mess up everything. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. It is a natural deserted village. Sort of. Yeah, look at this place. Whoa, look at all the blast for an eye. Right. Least, yeah, no one has been here before. I'm the first one to discover something. Lost one for me. Alright, the grindstones and more areas. Okay. 
Oh, if no one's taking these. Oh, I pickaxe. I actually do need that. I don't need these anymore. I will take this, the apple. Golden apples for purposes. The, yeah, oh, a lot of wood here. What the heck is that? Is that a mushroom shaped portal? Yeah, no, I don't think that's possible, is it? Yeah, no, it's not possible. I think someone did try it at some point. I think, some, I think someone was here. Most likely was here. I just happen to have, like, the, the scraps, I guess. But hey, sometimes scraps are good. Okay, we're back home again. We're back to the disordered area. Yeah, again. Why? Again, I'm not sure why it's like this. I guess because portals run randomly. I don't know. Okay, I want the truth. Did those, did those best mess up, mess up my area. I'm back home. Okay, it didn't mess up my area. Okay. Good. Alright. I was afraid I was afraid that was going to happen. Alright. Let me sleep the night a little quick. Okay, I'm back and well rested now. Alright. What's the agenda for now? Okay. Well, we got the bread. We got a spare pickaxe. I'd say, I'd say we go and explore the end a bit. Why? Because, well, I think there's something more to it than there, than there is just, like, the island and wherever the heck I went to the, the, uh, the other day. Alright, since we're back here again, and I just remember I need Ender Pulse to activate the thing. Well, at the same time, do I want to go back, though? I don't want to die again. On the bright side, I did build that little platform area over there, which should, in theory, not have anybody suffer a fall of them, because if... if I mean, I feather falling, but still. If someone could just die if he's coming on support to that. Luckily, I built that platform over there, just so that it's a little more safer for people to get across the border in what way. Let's see if, let's see if this will work. Okay, so now it teleports us over to the safe area then. Alright. It went as bad as bad as expected. Nothing but a wasteland over here. We're just have be scaling around the area, we're mining some blocks if we need to, bridge or scale up a mountain. Yeah, you do your drill, drill. And I was not gonna lie, I was about to give up, but yeah, just turn right back. Have it to walk all the way. But I decided to suck it up and just push it right through. And you know, looking back, I'm glad I did. Because, well, uh, eventually something did arrive on the horizon, and I couldn't believe my eyes. Okay. Start to see some spikes around here. That's something. Alright. I think I might know what those spikes might represent. And I think I might have to brace myself for what this might represent. Okay then. Yep, I thought so. It's the... Wait a minute. No, it's not. Yeah, no, yeah, it is. It is, yeah. It is those spikes. The, bus the, bus the dead coral spikes. I'm back in this area again. And, wait. Chorus plants? Yeah, chorus plants. It's a, and, it's a, and there's a ship right there. And there's a ship right there. Okay, wait. And ship, Elytra. Okay, I can get an Elytra here. Okay, that's good. Now, it's been a while to see an ship. Well, at the same time, I'm not very pleased to be back in here again because last time I was here, I was bombarded with phantoms left and right. But on the right side, I get chorus plants. Which can be used to make chorus chorus blocks, purple blocks, which I can use to vice versa, and this and that, and then this, uh, why am I still talking? Okay, I gotta get over there. And I can't pick these up because, well, they break instantly. Ah, Phantom! Okay, yep, this is why I don't like this place. This is why I don't like this place, okay. Okay, I gotta get to the end ship as soon as possible. Okay, we're almost actually we're, we're actually already there. Okay, and we're here. All right then. Whoa, that looks pretty. Look at all these plants. That's so pretty. Well, it's good to know that the end is in town. I'll take you as a sample. Thank you. Oh, give me that. There we go. A chorus flower. I'll keep you. I'll keep you for later. Finally, made it off. Okay, <laughs> that took a while. Lost, lost both of my pickaxes, but we got some endstone.
I just gotta remember to come back to this spot so I can go back home. Now, if I remember correctly, it is right there. Oh, hey, it's an end city as well. Two end cities. Okay, now we're talking. A good, ow, solid area of exploration. This is what I like to see. Okay, there we go. And we're finally here. In the end city. Let's hope it's not a dangerous attack. Okay. Yep, I hear them. The shulkers. Here we go. Ah, okay. I call it. Got chess. I got a shulker box. The other ones around here somewhere. I can sense them. Okay. I hear it. I don't see it anymore. Oh, there it is. I found it. Oh, I found it. Oh, no, 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 okay. Oh, please, water. Water me, baby. There we go. <laughs> I don't remember there was another choker. There it is, right there. Okay. I gotta get rid of it before, before it causes more mayhem. Either that or keep it to make a choker farm. Oh, it is duplicate? I think it's duplicated, yeah. I, I completely forgot. You can duplicate chokers by having them hit themselves with their own sh with their own particles and that's supposed to help them duplicate them okay okay got it oh I got it got it okay whoa okay it's a whole part of them whoa ow okay hi well we're here Mossy was in these chests right here. Okay, never mind. We got energy chest though. Well, I we might as well check out this area. Okay. I gotta be careful. I gotta be careful. Okay. What the? Ah, I got hit. Oh, these. Are... Eh, almost got it. Made it. Okay, get inside. Okay. Gotcha. There we go. Sky's the limit. Oh, this gold. And an iron pickaxe, okay. Ooh, that's good. Fortune 2, okay. And feather farm boots, okay. And more iron. There we go. Dragon's head. I don't know how anyone will be able to manage to get through this. Ooh, a silk touch pickaxe. Okay, that's good. Look, we got a fortune pickaxe and a silk. We just need to come out with, with, with another fortune pickaxe and we set. Been there, been there, done that. Okay. Any other spot that you know about? As apart from the shulkers. Anywhere else apart from the shulkers. I think. Should I go back and kill those shulkers? Nah, I don't want to. I don't want to waste my time dealing with those guys. I already got enough shulker shells anywhere. Come on, build like a seed. 38, that makes like 19 sugar boxes. I just need like 8 more, which means I need 16 more shells. I don't have to make a full ender chest filled with a networking system. I must explore the rest of this area. I did get lost again, but don't worry, I found my way back. I think it's high time I finally invest in, you know, an actual portal. And so it's off to the dead coral land again to get some blackstone. The one I went to was too small, but luckily there was a much bigger one over there. I just had to watch out for the phantoms. You know, forget it. I was right on the waterfall. Let's see where it takes me. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Get down, get down, get down. Okay, I'm here, I'm here. Okay. That one's smoothly as I anticipated. Okay. Let's see if we can get, get some blackstone here. Item 4, if not looking back now, here we go. Blackstone time. We gotta find patches of blackstone. I've never seen patches of blackstone in these biomes. Okay. No? Okay. Not here. But somewhere else. You see. What is that? Yeah, do you see that? Something glow There's something glowing in the distance. Is that glowstone? I think that is glowstone. Yeah, I think that is glowstone. 
Uh oh. Gotta go. Whoa. There's always a fleeing option. Okay. Is it still there? It's still on my tail. It's okay. But yeah. Oh, is that Blackstone? Yeah, I think that is Blackstone. Oh yeah, okay, good. We found Blackstone patches. That's good. Okay, we have to stay in fight. There's no, there's no way we, we can work under these conditions. There you are. That's okay. Bring out the water. Oh, I forgot water looks hideous here. But hey, we found Blackstone. Okay, this is what I was looking for. Good. We can tie tail, we can tail out of here. But first, I have to make a portal back there. And also, what's with the glowstone stuff? There's glowstone vantage everywhere. Interesting. A glowstone forest with blackstone. I need at least four, 10 or 14 of these. It's on me hot rate. And so with my newfound blackstone and a couple of end bricks, I was able to make a portal right on out of here to the overworld. I can't see, as always. Okay. Oof. Okay. Yep. As expected. Yep. Red blackstone. Okay, let's light her up. There we go. Alright. I can't see. Okay. Okay, we're in the Blackstone Mountains. Good. And there's red. Okay, there's over here. Okay. All I have to do is, is find the coordinates back to the other portal, and at least it's got free. How, how can it be? Wait, is that a portal? Yeah, hold on. <laughs> Sorry, I was tracking my progress down. Yeah, is that a portal? I see. That's strange. It's not just any portal. It's a floating portal. Was someone here before? Is it lit up? I can't tell. I think it is lit up. That's strange. Gosh darn it! Gosh darn it! I entered the sun the summon portal room again. Okay. Uh, this is like the second portal room I've intruded. Alright. And why are there phantoms here? Whoa, why actually, yeah, why are there phantoms here? Okay, I better get out of here. Well, I have to first want to collect the phantoms, because I, I don't think the person knows that there's phantoms in the portal room area. Get out of here, okay. Oh. This one like crazy. Okay. So it's a normal thing, okay. Okay, so back home we got some good there right there. I put some of the memory stuff in there. We got the elytra, a dragonet, a chorus flower, which will become very useful later on. Now the shogo shell, this one, that one, and phantom heads. Because why not? Okay, so I jotted down the coordinates of the other area and then these co and then these coordinates to see what's relatively close to my area. And yeah, so what I'm gonna do, so what I'm gonna do now is gonna I'm just gonna fix off, fix up, do some fixer ups with that portal area. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode, yeah. We've actually found an end city, can you believe it? And also a glowstone tree area, and you know, blackstone. And thank goodness we were able to get to get back here safely. Otherwise, I would have had to spend like hours trying to find my way back, because I would have gotten lost there. I mean, I think it wasn't back so much, but eh, that was it, that's easy to get out of. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Let me know you guys in the comments down below, like, subscribe, share, check out stuff in the meantime. And yeah, that's better. I'm going to do a few things now, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye for now.